Hello, boys and girls. Mr. McAndrew here with you again. Um, let's get started. Very exciting. Remember, we're focusing on the number 10. Uh, let's see if I can get myself out of the way here. So, how many dots do you see here right now as I float across the screen? Sorry about that. <laughs> so, how many dots do you see? Do you all see 10? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In. All right, so we're going to play splat again. Let's see. Um, I'm going to float across again over here. Okay, so there's our 10. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Um, and let's see how much gets splatted. Let's uh, go. Okay, so got a big splat there. How many dots are left? Let's count. How many dots did you get? One, did you get, did you get six? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many dots did the splat cover up? If there were 10, and now there's some covered up, but there's six left. Did you get, hold up the number of fingers that you think. It's either gonna be one, two, three, four, or five. How many? How many dots do you think there are? So let's check it out. If you said four, you are correct, okay? Because six and four more makes 10. Okay. Or what would be the, the, the subtraction way of thinking about it? If you thought of it as subtraction, think about that. So if you had 10, right, 10 and took away four, you would be left with six, okay? So remember, we want to know our what's called tens partners. Six and four are tens partners because when you put them together, they make ten. So what others? What are some other tens partners? In fact, last night, yesterday, in your um, for math, you found some tens partners. So let's look at those. Let me just pause this here for a second. Sorry. This up. And let me see. Move this over. All right. So welcome back. So let me float over here. So yesterday, so yesterday you found um, that they all all the numbers added up to ten. So these are all tens partners. So 8 and 2 makes 10. We did that together, right? 9 and 1, those are 10 partners, right? Because that fills up the 10 frame. If you have 9 butterflies plus 1 more, that fills up your net, okay? And then you also found uh, 6 and 4. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Um, six, that's not 6 and 4. What is Mr. McAndrew doing? Goodness gracious. All right, there we go. So six, right? If you had six butterflies plus four more, that would also give you 10. And if you had five butterflies plus five more, that would also give you 10. So these are all your tens partners. Five and five, six and four, or four and six, right? Uh, nine and one, eight and two, or two and eight, one and nine. All right, so all of those work, okay? So, um, and then, of course, the problem was had been uh, seven and three. So seven and three of the other tens partners. So um, so today we're going to do another word problem, but we're going to still use ten, but it may not add up to ten. So let me get over there. All right. So here we are. <laughs> um, so we have back in our math app. That's really awesome. Um, did anybody use this on their own? Yeah, that's great. Um, so it says, let's read our problem. Read along with me. It says, Molly caught seven butterflies. Her brother, Sam. So remember, we're visualizing, right? Picturing what's happening. Molly caught seven butterflies, similar to, to yesterday. Excuse me, when I think it was um, Dan, Danny who's caught butterfly. Her brother, Sam, caught four butterflies. How many butterflies did Molly and Sam catch in total? Okay, so let's check it out. We're going to have, um, 
let's do uh, some blue. So let's say Molly caught seven blue butterflies. So one. Oh, I wanted to show you something on this. If you click, uh, click on it and then hit delete, it goes away. But see where it says there's a little five there? So if I click on it, I can bring up five at the same time. And it fills up the whole top row of the 10 frame. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so five, six, seven blue butterflies, okay? So now <clears throat> we need to add the four butterflies that Sam caught. Let's say those are yellow, okay? So remember, this is a butterfly net. You can only put 10 butterflies in this net. So how many more butterflies can we fit in that net without going over? Show me number of fingers. Is it one, two, three, or four? What do you think? Number of fingers? It's three. Yeah, because we can see that. Look, one, two, three. So we're going to put three of the butterflies here that Sam caught. One, two, three. So if we put three of the butterflies there. How many? We still we haven't put all the butterflies into a net. Sam caught four butterflies. So we still have how many left over? We still have one left over. So that would go into this net. All right, so we have up here, we have, uh, let's just, uh, here, we'll get, a, get our pen here. Here we have seven, right, that Molly caught, plus three of the butterflies that Sam caught. And then we also have one of the butterflies that Sam caught down here, because we know that three and one makes four. So up here we have 10, okay? So again, we're using that number 10, right? And then we have, down here we have one. And if we add 10, if we add these 10, plus this one, 10 plus 1 equals what, boys and girls? What does it equal? 11. That's right. 10 plus 1 more gives you 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11. All right, so they caught 11 all together. All right, so um, if you haven't already, please take out your math packet that has your Tuesday word problem. Okay, it's the same problem that we just did on the math app. So I'm going to show you what um, this would look like. Okay, so we have seven butterflies and that Molly caught and four that Sam caught. So let's do, I'm going to do blue and yellow. I'll show you why in a second. But you can do any colors that you want. Okay, if you have two different colored pens or colored pencils or markers, that's great. Um, if not, uh, use a pencil and a pen if you can. Okay, it's not the end of the world. So we're gonna, I'm gonna draw, now I'm not gonna draw butterflies because that would take too long. I'm gonna draw, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven butterflies. So here's my, I've got seven. All right. And then I'm gonna add four more. So three of them can fit into the net because it's a 10 net. And then one of them has to go down here. Okay, so I have, uh, so I have seven and then I added four more. I had seven here and I added three of Sam's butterflies and then down here I had to put one down here. Okay, so I'm going to use green because blue and yellow make green. Pretty cool, right? So 7 plus 3, I know that gives me 10. So here's my 10 right here. And then there's the one extra one down here. Right? And I know that 10 plus 1 more equals 11. Okay? So here's my number sentence or equation. 10 plus 1 more equals 11. All right? If you don't have that down, please, um, please write that down. Okay? Pause the video. And then once you have it, Come on back, all right? All right, so welcome back. So if you turn the page, there are some practice problems here. Okay, and what I would like you to do, I'm gonna do the first one with you. 
It says draw dots inside the double 10 frames to help you solve each problem. The first one is done with Mr. McAndrew in the video. All right, so here we are. So um, we're going to think butterflies, okay? And each of these is a net that only holds 10 butterflies. So we're going to start with something is equal to 8 plus 3. So we're going to draw 8 butterflies. Boys and girls, anytime you need to pause the video if I'm going too fast, you feel free to do that, okay? So I have my 8, 5, and 3 makes 8. And I want to add 3 more. So, so far I've put down 8. And I'm going to add 3. So how many more butterflies can I fit into this butterfly net? It only holds 10 butterflies, and I've already put in 8. Show me number of fingers. One, two, three, or four. Yeah, that's right. Two butterflies will fit into this net. Okay, two butterflies. Because if you've got three butterflies, you could fit two into the net, but you'd have how many left over? You'd have one left over. Okay, so we're going to put the one, extra one right here. So we have eight plus three. So up here, we have 8 plus 2. Down here, we just have the one, the one butterfly. Okay, so I'll use my green one again. Here we have 10, and here we just have the one, right? 8 plus 2 equals 10, and then we just have the one. So 10 plus 1 equals, what does it equal? 11 again. Yeah, we have 11 again. So up here, I'm going to write down 11 equals 8 plus 3. There's a lot of work going on here. Okay, but I want you to see that we can still use the number 10 to help us. We had 8 plus 2 more that fills up that net, that butterfly net, and then we still have another butterfly to put in the next net. Okay, so 8. So we're still thinking we can still use our 10s partners to help us solve problems. All right. Great job. I want you to finish this problem nine and two. And then on the next page, there are two more. And I want you to do it the way that I've done it. Okay. All right. If you need um, to watch the video again, feel free to do that. And you can show your teacher later. All right. Great job. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.